Hi, I'm Justin Hensley. I'm a member of technical staff in AMD's office of the CTO. In particular, I work on advanced technology development, and lately I've been working with OpenCL. So today what I'm going to be showing is how we can use OpenCL to get all the power out of a 24-core Istanbul system. In particular, we're going to show a fun little demo called Powder Toy. And in Powder Toy, we have particles such as snow, water, fire, wood, and fluid. And we're going to see how those two particles and fluids can interact to have interesting uh, visual features. So in this demo, we can have snow, which will melt, become water, or we can have fire, which will ignite gas. And when you have this hot source in the demo, basically you'll have fluid increasing pressure, and then you get uh, movement of the fluid from the high pressure. So let's take a look at the demo. Let's take a look at one core. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking snow particles and dropping them, and then using fire to melt them. One thing you'll note is that it's actually fairly slow. And if you look at the bar on the right side of the screen, it's off the charts because it's uh, running so slow from just running on one core. So let's take a look at six cores. So here again, I'm taking snow particles and uh, dropping them into the scene. And then I'm using fire to melt those snow particles. It's definitely faster than one core. But if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see that the timing bar is still just barely on the screen. It'll go on the screen and off the screen. And so it's still not that fast. So now let's look at 12 cores. So again, we start with snow. And then we use fire to melt the snow particles. But you can see it's quite a bit faster. Uh, the timing bar on the right has come down quite a bit. Uh, but we're still not nearly as fast as we could be. So now let's take a look at 18 cores. So again, I'll start with some snow particles and then use fire to melt it. And you'll note that on the right side of the screen, we've actually come down in speed uh, so that we're actually quite a bit faster. Uh, and it's actually now fast enough that we can actually interact with the system. And you can see some interesting colors and interesting dynamics as the particles and fluid interact. So finally, let's take a look at 24 cores. So since we have a 24 cores available in the system, we'd really like OpenCL to take advantage of them all. So you'll see on the right side of the screen, the timing bar is at, the, at 4 milliseconds, so it's faster than all the other systems uh, that we showed. And it's fast enough that the particles and the fluid interaction is quite interesting. You get very interesting patterns, and it's real time, and it's quite interactive. All right, so now that we've had a chance to see each of those examples uh, one at a time, uh, let's take a closer look at one core versus 24 core. So the key thing we're going to look at is how much faster 24 cores is than one core. But before we look at it, let's, uh, the important thing to note is that the application hasn't changed. The binary that I executed is the exact same binary. The only difference is that I told the OpenCL runtime it is allowed to use 24 cores versus one core. So let's take a look at the video. In this case, on the right side, we have 24 cores. And on the left side, we have one core. You can see with the 24 core case, it's fluid, it's real time, you can interact with it, and it's much more interesting than the one core case. And again, as a developer, the key thing to note is that I did not change my application at all to do 24 cores. I just told the runtime, you're now allowed to use all 24 cores available in the system. So we've just watched how we can use OpenCL to leverage all 24 cores of the Istanbul system in the simple demo we called Powder Toy. But that's not to say that OpenCL isn't robust enough to do things such as medical imaging, video processing, or even video game development. I personally have been doing GPU GPU development for around 10 years, and it really excites me to have this technology of OpenCL that allows me to write an application once, have it scale from one core, two core, four core, or even 24 cores, and also scale to use the GPU. I'm Justin Hensley. Thank you for watching.